Flooding caused by continuous rainfall has killed at least 32 people in Nepal's capital, and another 12 are missing, police said Saturday. Rains have been pounding since Friday night and are expected to continue over the weekend. 17 people were also injured while 1,053 were rescued across Kathmandu, according to Nepal police spokesman Bishwo Adhikari. He said all police personnel across the nation have been ordered to help in the rescue efforts. The government had issued flood warnings across the Himalayan nation warning of massive rainfall. Buses were banned from traveling at night on highways and cars were discouraged from the roads. Security forces were ordered to high alert. Home Minister Ramesh Lekhak told reporters that there are reports of damage in other parts of the country too, and officials are still collecting information. Parts of Kathmandu were inundated by the swollen rivers with many houses flooded and residents forced to move to top floors. A huge area on the southern side of the city has been mostly flooded. An army helicopter was used to pick up four people who were unable to leave their houses. Most of Kathmandu was without power and internet for a period of time. There were reports of landslides and flooding in other parts of the country. The monsoon season that bring heavy rainfall began in June and usually ends by mid-September. Fast-moving Hurricane Helene is advancing across the Gulf of Mexico toward Florida, and it has been upgraded to a Category 2 storm. Western Cuba endured the slow passage of Hurricane Helene from Wednesday evening until Thursday. Families had to be evacuated in boats as water covered the streets and invaded homes. Authorities said Thursday that electricity services were severely affected as the storm moved away. In the province of Artemisa, about 160,000 out of 200,000 customers have been without electricity since Wednesday night. In the nearby province of Pinar del Rio, another 70,000 customers were reported without electricity. Local media said around 800 people living in flooded areas had to be evacuated. At Isla de la Juventud in the Caribbean Sea, the main dam had to be relieved of water to avoid overflowing. Havana experienced an uptick of wind and rain overnight without any damage. Helene is the eighth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, which began June 1.